20 historical myths that have been otherwise debunked. Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity with a kite. Benjamin Franklin's famous kite experiment demonstrated the connection between lightning and electricity, but it did not discover electricity. Electricity was already known to scientists, but Franklin's experiment provided crucial evidence of its properties. The details of the experiment are often exaggerated in popular retellings. Columbus discovered America. Indigenous peoples had lived in the Americas for thousands of years before Columbus arrived in 1492. Additionally, Norse explorer Leif Erikson reached North America around 1000 AD, predating Columbus by nearly 500 years. Columbus's voyages did, however, lead to widespread awareness of the Americas in Europe. The Great Wall of China is visible from space. This myth has been debunked by astronauts, who confirm that the wall is not visible to the naked eye from low Earth orbit. The Great Wall is quite narrow and blends into the natural landscape. Its visibility is further reduced due to its color and the terrain. Salem witches were burned at the stake. During the Salem witch trials in 1692, 19 people were hanged and one was pressed to death with stones. None were burned at the stake, as this was not the method of execution used in the American colonies. The burning of witches was more common in Europe. George Washington had wooden teeth. George Washington's dentures were made from materials like ivory, gold, lead and human and animal teeth, but not wood. The myth may have originated because his dentures became stained and took on a wooden appearance. His dental issues were well documented and he suffered greatly from them. The earth is flat. Ancient Greeks like Pythagoras and Aristotle provided evidence of a spherical earth as early as the 6th century BC. By the Middle Ages, most educated Europeans knew the earth was spherical. The myth that people believed in a flat earth during this time is a modern misconception. The Emancipation Proclamation freed all slaves. Abraham Lincoln's 1863 proclamation only applied to Confederate states in rebellion and did not immediately free all enslaved people. It did not apply to slaveholding border states loyal to the Union. The complete abolition of slavery in the US came with the 13th Amendment in 1865. Chastity belts were used to ensure fidelity. These devices are more likely to have been symbolic or a myth rather than practical tools used in medieval times. Historical evidence of actual chastity belts from the Middle Ages is scarce. Many purported examples are likely later forgeries or misinterpretations. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Edison improved the design of the incandescent light bulb and made it commercially viable, but he did not invent it. The basic concept was developed by several inventors, including Sir Humphrey Davy and Joseph Swan. Edison's key contribution was creating a practical and long-lasting filament. Van Gogh cut off his entire ear. Van Gogh only cut off a portion of his left ear during a severe psychological crisis. He then gave the piece to a woman at a nearby brothel. The full extent of the injury and the exact reasons behind it remain topics of historical debate. Isaac Newton was hit on the head by an apple. The story of Newton being hit on the head by an apple is likely a myth. While he did observe an apple falling and used it as a basis for contemplating gravitational forces, there is no evidence he was struck by it. The story was popularized to make his discovery more relatable. Walt Disney created Mickey Mouse. While Disney was heavily involved in the creation and popularization of Mickey Mouse, the original design was drawn by Ub Iwerks. Disney and Iwerks worked together on the character's development, with Disney providing the voice and personality. Iwerks' artistic talent brought Mickey to life. The Trojan horse was real. The existence of the Trojan horse is debated, with many historians considering it a myth or a metaphor. The story comes from Homer's Iliad and later Greek mythology. There is no archaeological evidence to support the literal existence of a giant wooden horse used to infiltrate Troy. Albert Einstein's brain was physically different. Einstein's brain was studied after his death. 
but no definitive physical abnormalities were found that could account for his genius. While some differences in certain areas of his brain were noted, they do not conclusively explain his exceptional intellect. His genius is more likely attributed to his unique thinking and problem-solving abilities. The pyramids were built by slaves. The pyramids were likely built by paid laborers, not slaves. Archaeological evidence, including workers' villages and graves, suggests they were skilled workers who were well-fed and housed. This challenges the long-held belief that slaves were forced to construct these monumental structures. Viking funerals involved burning ships. There is little evidence to support the common belief that Vikings regularly used burning ships for funerals. Most archaeological evidence suggests that Vikings were buried or cremated on land. The image of burning ships comes from later literary sources and modern popular culture. The Wright brothers' first flight was a secret. The Wright brothers' first flight on December 17, 1903, was witnessed by five people and photographed. While it did not receive widespread media attention initially, it was not a secret. News of their achievements spread as they continued to improve their flying machines. Napoleon was short. Napoleon Bonaparte was around 5'7", which was average height for a Frenchman of his time. The myth of his short stature likely arose from a mix-up between French and English measurements and British propaganda. Additionally, his nickname, Le Petit Caporal, the Little Corporal, referred to affection, not his height. The forbidden fruit in Eden was an apple. The Bible does not specify the type of fruit in the Garden of Eden. The identification of the fruit as an apple likely comes from the Latin word malum, which means both apple and evil. This linguistic connection may have led to the popular depiction of the forbidden fruit as an apple. The Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th. The Declaration of Independence was adopted on July 4th, 1776, but it was not fully signed until August 2nd, 1776. Some delegates signed it even later. July 4th became the celebrated date because it is the day the Continental Congress officially adopted the final text of the Declaration.